Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to episode 2 of Neo Scavenger. And I know what you're thinking, we're back at Kaiju's Cry Facility, and that is because uh, I basically went away after the first episode and studied um, the actual mod that I'm using, which is the mini mod, mini mighty mod of Doom, I believe. And uh, it's incredibly difficult. And having watched videos of people who've actually managed to get relatively far in it, um, I basically need to take my time slightly more, and I kind of fucked myself over. So today I'm going to get back to basically what I was doing, but I am going to take more time. And on top of that, I actually forgot to save my game as well. So maybe a blessing in disguise, I'm not too sure. Okay, so let's just... Okay, so we've got the Dogman suit. So basically, there's a lot of different stuff on this mod. Like, you do have to wash and stuff like that. Um, which I really didn't know. Um, so let's just get trap in. I've actually gone with strong this time instead as well. So let's make the Dogman suit because it's pretty chilly. And the dog fur coat is actually raw, which means it's going to give me fleas. Which means I won't have to wash. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a pain, but let's just keep going. I'm actually going to take a chunk of meat as well. Um, and let's just head down into here. So we've got the newspaper. Let's use that. And that's going to give us the... Um, what's it called on the map? Let's have a look at the Zoom down mini map. The refugee camp. So we're probably going to head there today. Uh, at least we found a bottle of water there. So I can actually pop the shards in the bottle of water. And we've also got some pills as well. Hmm. Probably take them instead of the meat. I can always uh, have a look around in the forest. But we'll check in this storage shed. See if we can lock out. Um, again, I'm using strong now as well. Okay, let's just carry on. Abandoned house. I'm not going to use that. It does tie it a lot quicker. So, okay, some bling there apparently. And we've got some rags. So we've now got a crude air filter uh, which is good and we've got another wine bottle as well I'm not gonna bother with that I think you can actually put rags on your feet now as well which is uh, which is pretty good so we can make some shitty rag shoes and unfortunately we've got no bag so I'm just gonna keep scavenging in this area and we've got a frail dog there I think okay let's have a look in this deserted farmhouse oh shit we've got a lighter as well right okay hmm so we can't actually pop that in anywhere. That's a bit of a shame. The light is a really good um, thing to have as well. So I'm going to take the lighter. Let's take the blue collar shirt and we'll put the coat over it. And we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good indeed. So we've got some pebbles and a glass jar. Um, I wonder if we can pop... No, we can't. So I'm going to go with the bottle of water and the shards for now. Um, I'll pop that back down there. Oh, fucking hell. Right, let's fuck the painkillers off. A uh, bit of a shame, but right, I'm just going to go up this way into the trees and just quickly craft a spear. We'll do a bit of scavenging first. See if we can get anything relatively decent. No, nothing at all. Okay, so we're just going to use the trees a few times. And I'm just going to end my turn. And we'll head into the crafting menu and use trapping... And we need to make a fire, I believe, as well, to actually harden it. Um, so let's do that. Clear that off. Um, and then we need to stoke the fire. So we need to remove the twigs. So we've got the fire there. And we seem to be pretty good there. Okay, so we now need the large branch. Oops, let's double click that. We need melee and we need shards as well. Okay, so that's going to give us a sharpened stick. Um, okay, so let's craft that. And then I think if we put that up there and then pop the fire up, that hardens it. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a hardened spear there. I'm not too sure if that is the best one. Ah, oh, shit, we haven't got enough hand. All oh, right, fuck it. Um, yeah, that'll do. I'm going to have to swerve the shards for the moment, simply because I've got the spear now and uh, we've got a bit of light as well. But I do need to find some food as... Uh, Obviously, metabolism is one of my negative traits. That dog down there needs to go fuck itself. Um, let's just do a bit more scavenging. Okay, and what do we got? We've got some water and some edible berries as well. So I'm just going to eat these all up now. I might as well stick on top of this. 
Um, and yeah, there we go. Decent, decent stuff. Okay, so we've got some more edible berries. Fucking hell, I'll find a lot of good stuff here, but nowhere to actually keep it in. Um, right, let's just keep going, and ideally I can find some kind of carrying device, like a backpack or something like that. Um, or even just a plastic bag would do for now. Okay, we'll use the lighter as well. We didn't find anything there. Let's just take a look how my character is actually coping. Okay, so we've got a minor pain there, minor bruising, and a minor cut. You should be okay to really not deal with that um, anytime soon anyway. If I get the chance where I can deal with it, then fine. Um, but let's just keep going. So we've got a week like that. And what have we got here then? So we've got more edible berries and a psychological sci-fi novel. A monkey wrench, another lighter, and some pills. Okay, let's just eat them edible berries there. And uh, let's just push down, get up on this hill. Okay, so we've got a view of a decent place now. Ideally, we will find a plastic bag on the floor or something like that. But the spear's a really good weapon. I don't know if it's been maybe toned down a bit for, um, for this mod. Holy shit. Okay, so we've got a leather suitcase and another leather suitcase as well. Okay, so we will carry that. Let's put the lighter in there. Crumbling old book. Makeshift sack as well. Might as well... No, you can't put that in there. That's a shame. Um, what else have we got? Scrap of paper. Some assorted parts I'll take. I'll take the string as well. Might as well take the majority of this stuff. And I'll also take the shard. So that one is certainly better than that. I've gone with strong because basically if you do find these briefcases or these suitcases then um, it is kind of extremely hard to carry them. They do get really, really heavy really quickly. So let's uh, let's use the light. I didn't find anything that time. Okay, so let's just end our turn and let's see what's on the floor over here. Okay, so we've got some more edible berries. I'm going to stock up on as much of these as I possibly can. Uh, I really do need to take advantage of the botany trait. Simply because of the fact that they do up your thirst and your hunger slightly. So, that's always good. Uh, botany, and let's use that there. Okay, what have we found? Edible mushrooms, very nice. And death caps, so we're not going to touch them. Okay, right, what time are we on? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so we'll head back down to there. And uh, scavenge through this forest as well. So if we get some botany and the light on there. And we're finding all types of decent stuff. So we've got some artichoke there. And are they poison? No, they're edible as well. So we'll chuck them in. And uh, that's pretty good. Don't think this suitcase is going to last too long though. So, And we are starting to tire as well. That is certainly one thing that I've noticed. Okay, so we've got a feral dog, so I'm going to threaten. If you're wearing the dogman coat, you actually have more of a hidden trait, apparently. I've done a bit of research, by the way. And uh, that basically makes you more menacing, and uh, it's easier to intimidate enemies. But no, this fucker's still coming towards me, so let's stab it. And we'll stab it again. And we're also going to stab it again. And as we're in the woods, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to cook this dog... Um, so let's just craft a fire, so what do I need to do, go back into there, we'll use that a few times, and uh, where are we going, I apologise, Jesus Christ, okay crafting, so let's just make another fire, this is one of the best aspects of the trapping trait, but obviously as I've got a lighter, um, I think I could just throw that in, that gives me a full one, so kind of a lot better really and what we're going to do is just take all this out we'll throw the dog corpse in there if i had ashes i could actually cure this meat as well but it doesn't really matter okay and we're going to craft that so we've got some decent kind of slabs of meat there and if we just chuck the fire on there and i think we need a stick as well that's just going to craft us some nice little bits of meat so we might as well craft and cook all of this or as much as we can with the turns we've got and that's going to give me a lot of food so at least i'm more prepared than the last episode i was kind of went in a bit gung-ho i hadn't played the game in a while and uh basically forgot how fucking difficult it could be 
which is uh, which is very difficult indeed. Okay, do we need to cook anything else? So we've got some sunlight, animal skull. Don't know if we can actually do anything with that. Live embers, handful of ashes. Um, nah, well, we're going to leave that for the time being. And I'm going to eat this chunk of meat. And we'll pack the other stuff away if we've got space for it. No, I don't think we have. Um, what can we get rid of? I'm going to eat these. Again, it's a bit of a waste, but never mind. But we've got a decent amount. It's not going to last us an incredible amount of time. As you can see, the condition of it's already degraded. So, uh, so that's pretty bad. So let's just keep going. Okay, I'm going to end our turn here and scavenge through this house. Or this shack in the forest. And uh, let's scavenge with a light source. Okay, we've got another briefcase. Okay, that's in better condition, so I'm going to use that and swap everything else. And also, we've got a kettle there as well, um, which means I'm certainly going to have to drop some stuff. So let's swap that one. Okay, so a kettle I can obviously boil water in, which is what I need. going to eat another bit of this meat. I don't know if that meat's infected or whatever, but hopefully not. We've got a patchwork hide glove, so that's going to up our temperature. Uh, I'm going to take these mushrooms take this and we'll take this as well I'm also going to take a shard so I'll leave this behind um, if we leave the string and the as small assorted parts behind I'm not too sure if you can actually make a uh, some kind of strap for the spear like you can for the crowbar and such but it doesn't matter if not um, so let's try and get some water as well okay who's this let's take some cover um, and let's just search around. Someone's just approached us. He's barefoot. Uh, he's got a weapon of stone. So, yeah, he's going to get attacked. It's just it's that simple. Um, you know, you don't, don't walk into me while I'm, I'm scavenging for berries. Uh, you know, that's, I'm pacifistic to some extent. But he had a rifle, so that's pretty fucking amazing. Uh, let's empty out. So what have we got in here? We've got some water. Let's just check if that's purified. No, it's not. Got a plastic bag, so we'll chuck that on our back. Um, are we carrying too much? No, carrying a decent amount. He's got a hoodie as well, so we're gonna take this off, put that in there, and I'll also just stash them edible berries in there for later. Okay, so we're a decent, decent, decent place at the moment. Put the water in there, and we might as well put the sturdy ducks cap on as well. Take it that's meant to be mighty ducks, but you know, copyright, etc. Okay, water testing device there as well. Brown soup pants. Um, some more soup pants. Okay, so I'll put them on. We've got disposable shopping bag, scrap of paper, handful of string. Might as well take that. Again, for making straps and such later on. Uh, move the paper down there. And I'm going to put that plastic bag in the bag. So it's kind of bagception. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. It just needs some footwear now and uh, probably a better filter. Uh, let's just do a quick scavenge around here in this dead forest. Use the light source. Hopefully that could get us something. Okay, what have we got? Death cap. So I'm not going to bother with them. I'm not going to bother at all. We could do with finding a water source, but it's not that urgent, really. So I'm just going to stick to this area and uh, probably stay the night in here. Let's hide our tracks first. And our turn. Seems to be a lot of confrontation in these kind of areas. Um, okay, we haven't got that many uses left of the uh, lighter. We've got about another 35 uses. So let's uh, end our turn here. Okay, so that's just marked the map of the glow somewhere. Ah, huh, maybe it hasn't. The glow's actually to the bottom right, if anyone didn't know. So we're going to sleep. Unfortunately, I haven't really got any... Um, let's actually swap that out. I haven't got any traps or don't really want to make a fire at the moment because that's going to draw enemies to me. And uh, that's the last thing I want at the moment. But we kind of lucked out with that rifle. I haven't really checked if uh, it had any bullets in. Uh, it's got no shells in, but rifle's a rifle. It's worth a decent amount. So let's start the day by eating up some meat. And uh, I'm going to have a few berries as well just to quench the thirst. Okay, uh, we're still pretty thirsty, so water's definitely on our agenda. And as you can see there, we're wearing raw fur coat, and we're very dirty as well, so 
you know, we need water for more reasons than one. Let's just end our turn, and uh, there we go. We found some water already. So stuff's going pretty well, but as in Neo Scavenger, for any of you guys who haven't played it, uh, you can just get fucked over big time. That's just the way it is. Okay, we found something else there. So some more edible stuff. Uh, can we actually stack them? Might as well eat the dandelion, and I'm going to use this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clean ourselves in the marsh. Okay, so we're now shivering, which is bad, but ideally we can just get back to a fire when we purify any water that we can get. And um, let's just empty that out. I haven't really got that many things to actually carry water in. Um, I've only got the kind of one bottle, so that's a bit of a shame, but nevertheless... Certainly worth doing. So we'll take that. None of this is purified, obviously, or sterile or whatever. Okay, so let's leave. And in fact, I think I'm going to head on. Let's just carry on. Carrying on. Okay, so we've got another feral dog. Just threatened him. And we're now surprisingly comfortable. So we did have parasites, apparently. And the parasites are now gone. So that's pretty good. That's what we wanted. Let's uh, keep going. Ransacked mini mart. So we use the light source, and we found some other stuff again. So some safety matches, some foil. Again, that's used for a thing in the later game, which I doubt we'll probably get to, um, as it's hard enough in the standard kind of vanilla game. But you never know. We can start collecting foil at some stage. Okay, so let's scavenge through this bit of forest as well, and see what we've got there. Okay, so we've got some water there. Don't need that. I do need some more carrying stuff. A squirrel corpse. Can I fit that in there? Nah. Could take that and actually cut that up as well. Have we got any more meat? Okay, 52%. I need to start actually eating that relatively soon. Um, I'm not too sure before it spoils. Maybe it is under 50%. I could be wrong. In fact, let's eat some of that now. I'm uh, pretty parched. And we'll just eat some berries as well, just to quench the thirst slightly. Okay. So let's do a bit of scavenging around here. So we've got a fire-gutted coffee shop. It's quite hard to say. Nothing in there. And uh, let's check the crumbling building. Okay, use a weak light source. Nothing in there either. Okay, last building. Might as well check through here in the buried cellar. Uh, we haven't got anything to actually dig through. Uh, this is a new thing for the mod. I'm not too sure if anyone does know how you actually dig through any of this stuff. Really haven't got a clue. Okay, that dog's just fucking around below us. That's fine. And uh, let's just go up onto the hill. Get a better view. Anyone who doesn't know, if you go on hills, it costs two moves. But it actually gives you a view of the majority of hexes around you. Not just what's in front here. So, always worth doing if you can. Okay, so we've got a top and some rags. So we'll take the rags. Where the fuck are them rags just gone? Oh, right, yeah. So that's just bandaged me with dirty rags. So that could be a problem. Um, water again. Some medium length of string. We'll take that. Might as well take that. How's our suitcase looking? All right. We need to change out the plastic bag within the next few turns as well. And uh, let's just have a quick look around. I think our light is actually bust. Is our lighter gone? Yeah, so we've got no charger, so we might as well throw the lighter away. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, we could make a torch as well, actually, but it takes up an awful lot of space, and you actually need it in your hand as well. Um, and I'm not willing to do that until I get a decent backpack. So let's just end our turn. Okay, so some just approached us there as well. Hardened spear, and this guy's got a crowbar. Hmm, so let's go towards him. We're actually sneaking towards him. I mean, this could be a really bad, really, really bad idea. Um, we're not actually seeing yet, we're not visible. And uh, we're still not visible now, so let's sneak attack him. He's stunned and coughing blood. I'm going to attack him again. And uh, let's just keep going with the single attack. Attacking with a two-handed weapon, apparently. Okay, so still haven't been hit yet. And I think we've killed him. Okay, so that's good. And he's got a makeshift backpack. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So let's empty that out. What have we got? Crudely made hood. 
Okay, that looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got a safety boot as well, so we'll take that. We'll mount them rags. It's got a, a hide long coat. It's in really bad condition, and it's got a plastic water bottle as well. So definitely going to take that water. And I'm also going to take this backpack as well. I've got a crowbar. Probably should take the crowbar, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm actually going to stay with the um, with the, the spear. It's doing me a decent amount. It's still at a really good percentage. I'm going to take this backpack. Not incredibly good condition, but certainly better than, uh, than what I was using previously. So I'll take the water, take the edible stuff. Take the safety matches. Um, the water tester I don't really need, so maybe not worth taking that. Uh, we'll take the tarp, because we can actually make a tarp tunic out of that as well. And um, what else is there to take? Can't take the hide coat in there, unfortunately. Hide tunic as well. That's pretty cool, hide tunic. It does look decent. In fact, I'll show you guys how it looks. Just in case you haven't seen it. Look at that. Like some fucking hippie. Let's look at the long hide coat, uh, like a serial killer, which is technically what we're going for at the moment, but uh, right, might as well take the water tester and take some of these parts as well. I seem to think I've forgot something here. Um, take that disposable shopping bag, just in case that kind of falls apart. And let's just check where we are on the map. So we're actually right next to the refugee camp, so I'm going to leave the episode here, guys, and shit, I'm bleeding eternally. Okay, right, maybe we should have looked at that. Hmm. Okay, we could have a problem here. Um, a major problem, which I'm going to have to sort at the beginning of the next episode. I've got a fractured rib and we're bleeding internally, so even when stuff seems like it's going the right way, maybe it's not going the right way. Um, okay, die to. Let's just have a look at the log. Um, militia. Attacked. Okay. Did we get attacked? Ah, yeah. So we did actually get hit with the crowbar. And that's why we've got a fractured rib and internal bleeding. So I'm going to have to sort that out next episode. We're going to have to purify some rags or something like that. And, uh, and go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you soon.